Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! Today's gonna be a catch-up day of sorts of all the stuff, well not all the stuff of course, of most of the stuff that I can collect at this point in the game as well as doing some kinstone fusions and whatnot. So I will be cutting around while doing stuff. As you've seen right there, I did a bunch of grinding well, it didn't take me that long, it only took like three minutes to get that. And I got the rupees for the larger quiver. Which reminds me, I already do have the maximum size wallets. Um, I forgot that there is three upgrades for the bow, the bomb bags, and for the wallets. So, I should say the quiver, the bomb bags, and the wallet, you know, for capacity. And for some reason I thought there was one more, but I must have been thinking of some other Zelda game. So yeah, I am indeed maxed out at a uh, whopping 999 rupee capacity in my wallet now. So I am good to go. Also, if you recall, I said there wasn't anything that I could get over here before when I unlocked this area. Well, I forgot you could dig here. Yeah, it's a big red rupee and it's another big red rupee. Maybe I should have did this instead of grinded for rupees because those are worth a heck of a lot more. <laughs> oh, and uh, I noticed that the 23 kinstones that are available at this bleh, at this point in the game, uh, they weren't in the locations that I was expecting they would be. So, something tells me that the locations of the kinstones at this point in the game are sort of random. Yeah, and what am I doing with this? I want to go here. <laughs> so, I, I, I mean, that's okay. It's okay to have another random kinstone segment in the game. It's just simply something that's good to know at this point, because, you know, you just never... You never know if you're going for the right one or not, like if you're traveling to the right area or not. Uh, where I'm looking for... Here we are. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna start by getting my energy back. <laughs> because that beeping is going to get on my nerves. Ah! No, I refuse to live with the beeping. There's gonna be- dang it! <laughs> is there a fairy in my inventory? No, there is not. Well, there's always a chance I can get a drop from these... Seriously? Nothing? <laughs> ah, seriously? <sighs> Anyway, I'm looking for a digging cave. Well, actually, as long as I'm here, I can do this because this little critter in this house should be raring to go. Yep, that's what I thought. This is the one that couldn't grow its beanstalk. So, guess what's going to happen when I fuse with this one? Yep, the gray bean in the ground there will sprout. There we go. <laughs> a little delayed reaction, but there we go, nonetheless. Anyway, was that cave blocked off in the cutscene? The cave that I already blasted open? I have to check that. I must check that. <laughs> Unless it somehow closed itself back in? Nope! It was closed off in the cutscene. Ha! Plot hole! <laughs> Minor one, but a plot hole, nonetheless. And right up here is a bunch of prizes. Most importantly is this piece of heart. And it's 200 mysterious shells. Okie dokie. It's Lan Lan Ranch time! You may recall the high contrast tree up over here. Yep, it's a portal. Transform and now. We can go through this path and avoid everything. Oh, geez. Do not get rocks dropped on your head. Well, there's that prize. Is there anything else down here? I thought so. Oh, yeah, baby. Awesome. Oh, no. <laughs> That's a mold worm. What it does is it tries to eat you and it's, it's pretty slow. It's like an earthworm of sorts. It homes in on you. And yeah, there's not really much to it overall, though once you hit it, it can go in the ground like so, and then pop back up again. 
somewhere, I don't know. <laughs> well, it was coming back up, but I think you get the idea of it. It's not a hard enemy. Um, anyway, now go through the land of the fearsome beasts. I'm gonna eat a lot of grass so I can make delicious milk. Oh, and moo. <laughs> I'll talk to you as well before I... I'll talk to you on the way back. I gotta, I gotta come back through here anyway. So... You know that puddle of water in the middle of the pasture? There's something kind of suspicious about it. Moo! We'll call it a cow's intuition. <laughs> I probably... Maybe that's the one it was thinking of, but I already unlocked that. Unless it's, No, wait, maybe it's the other one, too. Nothing makes me happier than just standing around eating grass all day. The reason why I want to come through here is because... Guess what? Oh, I can't fuse with this one? Oh, it's too close. Moo. I thought I'd be grown Chuck for sure. Uh, well. Eh. I thought I could fuse with that one. Maybe that's it's later on in the game and I'm just confusing. Or maybe it's randomized. <laughs> I just never know with this game sometimes. Oh, no. No! I'm blocked in. Uh, that's kind of the, I don't want to say difficulty of the cow pasture here. I'm so full, mm, but it's so delicious, I just can't stop eating. Mm. I, I I couldn't agree with you more, I know that feeling. <laughs> but yeah, I don't... I guess I can't fuse right now, so I'll see you at the next location. Oh, here was the wall that I was looking to dig in. It was actually in Eenie and Meenie's farm. Alright, let's explore. Remember, always check the north walls. Ah, no, no, get off me, off me because it might have a kinstone fusion like that. That's what you're looking for right there. Those are mysterious walls, and I bet you one of these is a like-like. Yes, it is! <laughs> You'll notice... Oh, yep, what does this do? Well, each one of these mysterious walls in these mountains makes another Goron appear inside the Goron digging place. And since they got all the Gorons they need here, see the Goron symbol on the ground there? <laughs> no, it's no good. I can't break it by myself. And this requires two to get past. It's The light is fetching another one. I heard a strange feeling, like a fellow Goron was in need. Hello, Ogoro. Huh? No, well, you can't get through that alone. I'm coming to help you. Don't worry, I'm here to help you. Let's break through that wall together, Goro. <laughs> Voila. It's still blocked in. You still can't get through that cave completely yet. But keep it in mind for later. Alright, let's go over to the next digging location that I'm thinking of at Mount Krennel. Man, it's so easy to get hit by things at Mount Krennel when you're rushing through things. <laughs> so over down there, by the Krennel Hermit, if you recall, there was another digging wall spot, and that is what I intend on going through here, because there should be a piece of heart at the end of it. And remember, always check the north walls, just to be sure that you don't miss anything. No, you don't. No, you don't. Okay. Just gotta... Oh, I also forgot all about these, uh, the spark enemies. If you hit them with boomerangs, they always turn into a fairy. So the boomerang does have a pretty good use. Well, when you can use the boomerang in that way. Ah, <laughs> uh, wait a second. This is... Wait, what's this corner? Hmm. It's kind of weird, but okay. Check all the walls. Nope, nothing there. Aha! Dodged you. <laughs> and got a new heart container. Nope, oh, nope, nope. Haha. -ha. Alright, got the rest of the cave to explore. Yeah, you don't really have to worry about these sort of walls. You only have to worry about the walls that you can actually see in your perspective, because that's where there will always be a mysterious wall. Well, I, I shouldn't say always, but I mean, you know, where there are mysterious walls, that's where you would find them, is on the back walls on the north walls because it's part of the game's perspective thing just so that it's not outside your vision range like might, might want to check here but I don't I don't actually think that they would put them on those kinds of walls but I, though I do think there is one coming up on the back wall not here in the upper upper part this one right here that no dang ambush 
Yep, there it is. I'll just check these really quick, just to be sure. You know, there are just to be sure there isn't any more. Okay. And blue square piece. Yep, another Goron. Just as I told you before. Each one of those mysterious walls yields another Goron, and mm, this wall is pretty tough. I don't think the two of us can break it. I was expecting another copy paste of uh, a text, which is why I read through it first. But that doesn't stop me. That, that doesn't mean we're going to stop trying, Goro. <laughs> I thought I smelled some Gorons around here. What are you guys up to? Hey, give us a hand breaking through this wall, Goro. And so he does. But it's not enough. It's not enough. Gotta find another mysterious wall. Alright, I think this cave is cleared out, so a little bit of backtracking and I'm out of here. As long as I'm up here. Krennel Hermit. Oh, you don't have a Kinstone Fusion. Or at least not right now. You always seem to have fusions. Hey, Trilby Highlands Goers. You might recall there's a cave up over here. Let's explore. And hopefully find another mysterious wall. Well, actually, I think that actually leads to... Uh, the last uh, Tingle brother, as a matter of fact, come to think of it. Oh, there's the uh, um, other mysterious wall that I was thinking of. So let's fuse and go. By the way, you'll notice that I'm blocked off from a path on the right side. Well, I can't reach that area until I get the flippers. Well, it's a tough wall. The three of us together couldn't even break it. On fourth Goron, meet up with them. Oh. I smell delicious stones. They're right on the other side of this wall. Oh. Can you give me a hand, Gogoro? And another wall bites the dust. Well, another wall is dust, actually. And pebbles. <laughs> but I still can't get the prize at the end of that cave. For now. No, you don't. Alright, I think. Oh, 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 oh! Do not forget your drops. I think I got everything on this side. Yeah, all that all that over there is blocked off to me until later. Anyway, I'm gonna go up this ladder. Look at that. The final Tingle Brother. Hey, Mr. Fairy! I've been holding on to this just like my brother Tingle last, and I have a kin and I have kinstone pieces. Want to try and fuse with me? Yes, I will, because I'll be able to get an item from you guys. This is the last piece of the puzzle to get the item at North Hyrule Field. So, boop. that opens up, and I can go in the last tree. They fit perfectly. Tingle would be so proud of me. Um, maybe I'll talk to him one more time when I go back, but for now, let's go up here and... Oh, you have a fusion! 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 Must fuse! Already fused! Is this set? Oh! This is near, um... This is actually near where we are. It's, uh, south from here. Yep, Trilby Highlands. Next to the entrance to of uh, Caster Wilds. Oh, I, was, I guess I was—I guess he was supposed to say something about the watery spot, but I fused with him before I talked to him first. My bad. Well, alas, sometimes that just happens. Oh wait, just one. Hold on, one more time, just to make sure. Because as I said, some Kinstone fusions I'm, I'm feeling are kind of random in this segment here, so. Yeah, I just wanted to check with that to be sure. Alright, what else do you have to say? Hmm. He admires you. <laughs> I, 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 I guess. Alright, so... Let's go 
down... No, wait, not this way. I want to go around... here. And now... And the, only, the only reason I'm walking here is because there isn't any way to um, fly here with Zepha. Oops. Mm, Kidoki. There's that prize. And now, fly, fly away back to Hyrule Town. Because... I would be a fool not to pick up this item while I can, because it's pretty neato. Well, okay, it's not that useful all around, but anyway. Going here. Last puzzle. Probably another treasure chest as well, yep. Red kinstone piece. Hit the switch. And that pops a ladder down. Where this ladder and hole comes from, who knows. But there's now a hole in the middle of everything. Go down the hole, because all four pathways are unlocked, all four Tingle Brothers have been fused with, and you get the magical boomerang, the, the highest upgraded boomerang in the game. So we have, I'll, I'll do this outside because it's much easier to demonstrate this for you, but if you hold the boomerang button, whichever one you have it selected to, you can control its movements until it hits something. It's kind of hard to tell off screen. <laughs> But yeah, you can see what I'm doing there. You can see that it doesn't fly in a straight line because I'm controlling where it goes. This can be quite handy. Alrighty. I think that's all I'm going to be doing in this part. I got a pretty good amount done here. So, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.